Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unboxing here at For The Collection, brought to you by the WrestleGeddon Podcast. I, of course, am Chris The Heat Matthews, one of your three hosts of the WrestleGeddon Podcast, back again here on our YouTube channel for a pretty sweet unboxing this week. Had a bit of luck um, at the local Target, uh, managed to find uh, not one uh, Stings. But a couple. So we got the uh, standard version and was able to also pick up the chase. So the one of 5,000 chase there. That one's going to stay in the box. Um, that's actually pretty cool. Not quite sure what I want to do with that one yet. Um, maybe eventually Sting does an autograph signing my area again. Maybe get it signed. I'll uh, replace the uh, crappy basic that I got signed by last time he was here. But uh, we are going to open the basic one and do a bit of a comparison with Sting's last um, WWE elite figure, this guy here. So, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. I will say, um, I haven't done a lot of AEW unboxings. This is probably like one of the one of the first ones that I've done um, in a while. I can't remember doing one before, but I love the box, the packaging. For these figures it's very reminiscent i know a lot of people have said this before but very reminiscent of the the jacks classic superstars and i think uh jeremy padauer was very uh fond of that packaging too like as much as we were collector wise so so pretty cool uh let's get that out of here this thing is out the box all right first thing we got baseball bat I like that bat Actually looks pretty cool. Extra set of hands. We got closed fist hands. Hands that are on there now are open, so of course he can hold the bat. Um, we got these my arch nemesis, the twisty ties on here. And you would think by now I would have a pair of scissors handy when it comes to doing these, but just gotta grip it and rip it, apparently. There we go. Bam. Sting is out the box. Pretty cool. I've been very impressed with some of the AEW figures. Some are kind of hit or miss. The face scan on this thing is actually pretty solid. I'm get him focused there. There we go. Actually kind of looks better than that last Mattel Elite. His head kind of looks a little square and flat. So this is actually pretty cool. The coat is, is a little more pliable than the Mattel one. That one is like, well, actually, it's about the same, so not too bad. I do like the red jacket a little better than the black, but just because every it's like every figure on the shelf is black, black or red, so the red kind of stands out a little bit. Uh, so of course, the standard Sting figure has the Sting face with the baseball bats on the shirt. So, um, so let's go ahead and get this jacket off. It seems to come off pretty easy with it being more of a, a softer rubber which i'm glad mattel had switched to that because some of those earlier figures of the jackets like the jericho that's got the arms out and the pose god that jacket is a nightmare to take off if you needed to for any reason um actually, i actually think i just have him posed on the shelf backwards uh just because he looks kind of better that way all right um all these AEW figures seem to ha have this little way how the camera there the little plastic thing on here um that's mainly to keep i guess paint rub um and especially with the cloth uh t-shirts and stuff like that especially on the arms it keeps the the dye from bleeding onto the figures but we don't need that on there now these guys all right so basically got your sting got the long sleeve shirt there the stinger tights which is pretty cool um got your articulation way more a little bit more than the elites, um, especially the Sting Elite. Definitely did not have the double jointed elbows. Uh, of course, this one does. It's standard on the AEW figures. Really didn't get that on Mattel's elites until recently. Double jointed knee. Um, you mainly got that on the Ultimate figure. So pretty cool overall. It's a nice, solid figure. It'll look cool on the AEW shelf. Let's uh, get them side by side here with the Mattel Sting. So there's. Stinger from Mattel. 
and a W stinger. Let me get my face out of there. Oh yes, there we go. So definitely a better face scan on the AW Sting. The head actually looks a little better. For some reason, this one came out a little squarish on that. I'm not sure what Mattel was going for with that one because most of the other Sting figures did not have that square head on there, especially that first defining moment. So it was a little, a little better on that one. Um, I don't know. You probably can't see it back there behind me on the shelf, but... Um, I'd grab it, but he's a little too hard to get to without knocking all those other figures out. Of course, if you're a loose collector and display like that, you definitely know the uh, reasoning for that. So, um, but pretty cool, like overall. But I do, like I said, I like the red jacket on the Mattel one better. But this, the AEW Sting is actually pretty cool. The baseball bat is actually cool as well. I like that. That looks kind of better than the other one. And a little easier to get into the hand than compared to the Mattel one. It actually stays nice and uh, tight in there too. So that's cool. Pretty solid. And let's see if we can get the, the point, the bat point, a little easier. Boom. A little easier with the AEW figure than it is with the Mattel ones. So awesome. So, pretty cool so, overall not a bad figure um if i was to give it a rating i'd definitely say like an eight eight and a half out of ten so solid figure nice face sculpt um articulation is great the jacket's easy to get on and off the bat's easy to get into the hand um we know how easy the hands are to pop on and off the AEW figures pretty awesome pretty psyched for this figure um, I'm actually going to unbox another AEW figure here. So let me grab that and we will be right back. Just give me a second. All right. So kind of figure since that thing one was a little short, uh, look at that unboxing. We'd uh, take a look at another one. Um, actually let's do a couple more AEW figures. So let's just make this a whole AEW unboxing. So we have from the same unmatched series as a Sting. This is unmatched collection two. Ty Conti. Um, I'm a fan of the AEW's women's figures, the Jazzler figures. These are actually pretty cool. Um, the couple that I have, I've got Sheeta, Rio. Um, I had that first release, Brandy Rose. I was lucky enough to find that one. I think I pre ordered that on ringside. So that was a quick, easy one to snag. Um, I did miss the Nyla Rose figure, and I actually did not like the first uh, Britt Baker that they put out. So. Might eventually just pick up the ringside blood and guts one. But, or not blood and guts, the lights out match. Yeah. Her and Thunder Rosa. Let's go ahead and take a look at Tay Conti, um, who didn't quite make it in NXT, but found a home in AEW and took off there. <clears throat> kind of honorary member of the Dark Order, tagging with Ana J. So... Uh, she's got the plastic on her hair, tips of her hair there. Let's pop that off. This one, like Sheeta has been like so far my favorite women's figure that Jazzwares has put out. But uh, Conti Tay is uh might take the throne from that Sheeta because that face scan is absolutely amazing. Very well done on that figure, especially on the. We do have two heads, so that's one. And then we got one that's got a different hairstyle and facial expression. So let's take a look at this one too and see how that compares. Pretty solid, actually. Like, really good face scan on this. This is a very excellent figure. Um, articulation's great on these. And then, of course, they got her assets correct. So, you know, as <laughs> kind of... Hard not to notice that, but um, cool. Actually, got her little uh choker on here too. This says Tay Conti. I don't know if you can see that, so that's pretty solid. So, uh, let's pop this head off and throw the other one on here and just see how that looks compared to that one. So, of course, heads are easy to interchange, it just pop right off, pop back on. 
I don't want to give you any trouble because apparently this one does not want to pop back into place. Keep trying to move on me like that head joint. Should not be that difficult to take a head on and off of a figure. What it is. So. All right. So, well, you get the gist of it. So there we go. The hair down, different hairstyle. Pretty cool. I really like the green on this. That came out really nice uh, compared to our actual uh, ring attire. Uh, which one was this from, anyway? This was the Dynamite from March 31st, 2021. So last year. So awesome figure. Really like this one. It's going to be a great addition to the shelf. Um, unfortunately, she only comes with one set of hands because she comes with an extra head. I uh, don't see why they couldn't give her an extra set of hands and an extra set, extra head as well. Because um, we had some other figures that come with extra hands and an extra head. But that's not it. We also got um, Unrivaled Series 4 uh, Thronebreaker Cody. So, um, was not going to get this, but... Um, Ended up doing the wrestling collector shop uh, mystery box. And this happened to be the figure in my mystery box. So, eh, not too bad. I did get the TNT version, ringside collectible Cody. Uh, figured that'd be a solid one to get with the multiple heads and the TNT title. Um, the box was actually really cool on that one too. But, uh, not bad. I'm a Cody fan. I'll admit it. So, a lot of people are afraid to say they're a Cody fan, but I'm a Cody fan. And I'm probably one of the few people that enjoyed the Stardust gimmick. So, I'll admit that too. <laughs> After hearing his interviews and how he approached that gimmick. And um, did a lot of uh, character work cop um, researching Frank Gorshin's Riddler from the 66 Batman series. Which I'm a huge fan of that series as well. It's one of my favorite Batman series. I kind of appreciated Cody's effort going into that Stardust character. I mean, you make it work. He made it work. It's not his fault that the writers were terrible. He actually had a lot of pretty good ideas to transition back to Cody, but they just wanted him to be in paint like his brother. So, well, with him being a free agent now, let's see. We go back to WWE. Will he stay with AEW? Who knows? Only Cody knows, and probably Brandy. Damn. You got that plastic wrap on the arms. You got it around the chest. Around the chest there, too. Shirt's pretty cool. I like the Thornbreaker shirt. It looks awesome. Uh, first head scan. You got that big ass cheese eating grin. Um, some of the Mattel figures, actually, I will say Mattel's face scans for Cody kind of trump this one. Um, I don't have, obviously, they didn't make a Mattel. Mattel didn't make a blonde Cody because he went blonde after he left WWE. Oh, good Lord. Oh, he's got the weight belt on here, too. Which is keeping the plastic on the rest of the figure. Good lord. This is riveting video right here. I'll tell you what. So. <laughs> Good lord. There we go. Got that off. So there's that. Pop the shirt off. Come on, dude. Bam, shirt off, and we got the weight belt, don't back down. Thankfully, this is pre-neck tattoo, so I just got the dream there on his chest. So This is pretty cool, so Elite Cody. Awesome. Pretty solid figure. He does come with a second head, which is a uh, just a standard face, no emotion, nothing like that. There's really great detailing on these uh, tights and on the knee pads and stuff. So let's I give it up to Jack or um not Jack's Jazz Warriors. They do they detail very well with these figures. Um, so I get this Cody head out of here. And just dropped it. Awesome. There's my face. Okay. And there's Cody's face. So, really standard. 
This is probably like not the greatest face scan for him. The smiling one is definitely better on this figure compared to that. Uh, so pretty much the only thing that he needs is a sledgehammer. And I've got quite a few sledgehammers that came with multiple Triple H figures over the years. And just pop one of those in his hand and we got ourselves the throne breaker. So pretty cool. Awesome stuff. AW Jazz Warriors putting out some quality figures uh, with their unmatched and unrivaled lines. So, yeah, so that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed the quick unboxing here. Um, an impromptu, just going to be a Sting video, but it ended up being like a full AEW unboxing. So, win-win for you guys. Win-win for me, because I got to open some more figures. So that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for checking this out, taking a few minutes to watch this video. Um, hit us up on uh, the Wrestle Getting Podcast, um, which you can find on all major podcast um, apps or whatever you listen to your podcasts on. Um, there'll be a link in the bio, uh, that'll take you to everything you need, a little link tree link. So, but yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the alert, the alarm down there on the bottom. Um, just to be notified on when new stuff hits this, hits your, uh, YouTube feeds. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out and we'll catch you guys next time right here on for the collection.